¿Qué tal, Sasutitos? Nos encontramos eh, justamente en el entrenamiento de Floyd Mayweather. Voy a ver si aprendió todo lo que le enseñé. Eh, va a practicar un poquito antes de su pelea. Con ustedes, señoras y señores, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather quería regalarles esto a México, no solamente para los que pagaron el boleto, sino para los que pudieron tener la oportunidad de venir hoy y ser testigos de sus movimientos, de sus ejercicios, de lo que hace un boxeador profesional. ¡Fuerte el aplauso para Floyd Mayweather! No, I'm never turning back. I won't stop on the fight until there's nothing left. It's so wide, you're gonna be hurting back, cause I've been to hell and back. Mexico has always produced so many great champions. Who was your uh, toughest uh, Mexican boxer that you fight? Or oh, the people call you money? They call me money, yes. Why is that? Um, I take my hat off to one of the Mexican fighters who got the silver medal. If you can uh, choose your place in the story of boxing, in the top 10 story, where do you, you put yourself? You know, but it's good to do these exhibition bouts to showcase my talent and give the people a chance to, to see a glimpse of me. Which was your worst injury in your career? Who is your, uh, your idol? Is there any fight that you think that you're going to lose? I never know. I don't know what that word is. Nos va a tocar venir acá de pasajeros como pinches padrotes, güey, porque sí, porque el pinche Mayweather viene de entrenar, eh, lo acaba de dejar, lo presenté, pues viene para acá y se va a sentar aquí conmigo para platicar en el escorpión al volante. Hoy de pasajeros, pero de todas modos va a estar chingón el desmadre, vamos a platicar con él y todo lo vamos a hacer con mucho peluche en el estuche. <risa> Señoras y señores. Tomas y caballeros, <ríe> ustedes no lo esperaban, pero está con nosotros, here we are with Fly My Weather. Hey, how you doing? Are you sick or something? Because you have like these towels and... Oh, I just got finished working out, so we ah. want to make sure we stay warm after a workout. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah, because if, if something happens to you, all the boxing industry goes down. <ríe> <ríe> How have you been here in Mexico? Uh, Mexico has been great. Uh, me and my team, we loving it. We enjoying ourselves. We having fun. Mexico City has always been a great place to come visit and come to. Uh, very, very beautiful place. Nice place. Nice people. And I'll be back. You, you have to try food and something. Yeah, the food is unbelievable. <laughs> But you can because you are training. Yeah, I don't. I'm, my weight is made. Yeah. You know, most times when I do exhibitions, the guys that I face are a lot bigger. So yeah. <laughs> uh, my weight is made. A lot of people are a little confused because you have this Invict uh, title with 50, 50 wins uh -huh. and now you back. Are you back into bo real boxing or do you, how does this work? No, no, exhibition. Exhibition. It's about, it's a, it's about where it's not sanctioned. Yeah. It don't go on my record or my opponent record, but I'm just giving the people a chance to see me. Uh, you know, it's good to just come entertain the people. Yes. You know, people in Mexico have supported me for so, so many years. And they and all the fans that that didn't get a chance to come to America or, or who don't have a passport to come to America yeah. or have a passport to come see me when I'm doing exhibitions in other places or when I was fighting in other places, I'm glad that I'm able to come to the country of Mexico and display my skills. Yeah, uh, but we, we have the, this, this thing, the Mexican people yes. has this hate love with you because you beat a lot of Mexicans, but you are a legend. So how do um, you feel with this mix of feelings? Well, I love the Mexican fans. Yeah. 
and just the background of the Mexican fighters. They work so hard. You know, the Mexican fighters, their slogan is kill to be killed. Yeah. So, you know, you have to take my hat off to all the Mexican fighters over from, from right now to back in a day. Yeah. Mexico has always produced so many great champions. From now to back in the day, um, there's been so many legendary champions. Once again, like I said before, and um, I'm happy just to come over to Mexico and display my skills. <laughs> Who was your uh, toughest uh, Mexican boxer that you fight? Um, there's a lot of tough uh, Mexican fighters, not just um, as a professional, but probably as as an amateur. Uh -huh. USA versus Mexico. Um, in the Olympics, you say? No, or? no, not in Olympics, and actually a dual meet. Yeah, uh, U.S. versus Mexico in Las Vegas. Um, uh -huh. I fought against Mexico. Yes. He was, was tough. tough. Yeah. <laughs> very, very tough. Talking about the Olympics, what do you think that you you are one of the uh, latest uh, champions? A lot of Americans waiting for repeats. No, the, the the medals doesn't go for boxing in U.S. Why is that? Um, U.S. got more of a professional boxing style. Yeah. Whereas um, you got different styles from all walks of life, from all around the world, in in the boxing business. But in the Olympics, it don't cater to American fighters because a lot of American fighters fight like professionals now. Yeah. And that's why you see a lot of American fighters as well as the the Mexican fighters. But um, I take my hat off to one of the Mexican fighters who got the silver medal in this year Olympics. Nice. I, I I would like to sign him if he's not signed. Yeah, you should. Yes. <laughs> That's why you have this uh, style, and it helps you for all the, your career. That you are like defense, and, and nobody touch you, but you go in, in, in the right moment. And a lot of people love it, and not a lot of people hate that style. But it's um, Olympic style, right? Well, it's not really the Olympic style. It's the style um, that my dad taught me as a young kid. And the less you get hit, the longer you last. So, you know, I didn't really want to take a lot of punishment I'm more so, you are. <laughs> so I can have all my faculties so I was able to make smart investments when my career was over. So that's why I'm a very, very defensive and a very, very smart fighter. Yeah, because a lot of fighters are very, very bad at the end of his career. His yes. Career. So you're, you're fine now. <laughs> you think well now. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. I was great in the beginning of my career. I'm great, you know, while, while being retired. You know, but it's good to do these exhibition bouts to showcase my talent and give the people a chance to, to see a glimpse of me. Or the people call you money. They call me money, yes. Why is that? Probably because in a, in a boxing business, I was the cash cow. Uh -huh. In the fight business, you know, I did, I did so many record-breaking things. But but while doing record-breaking things, I demanded that I had to be, I had to be paid. You, you make a lot of money, right? <laughs> I will. I, I, do good, I do good for myself. <laughs> Why are you fighting? Because you don't need to fight. Because you have a, a good plan of retirement. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, well you, re but, re but retirement for me don't always mean to sit at home. Yeah. I still can go out and entertain and have fun. This is fun for me. Uh -huh. It's not like I'm fighting um, a top fighter in in the top 10 or I'm fighting for a world title. Uh, we fighting. We fight two minute rounds. And um, it's not sanctioned. It's just all about it's all about entertainment. It's just like um, sort of like wrestling, uh -huh. sort of like wrestling, but we we do have a you know a little bit more heavier contact. If you can uh, choose your place in the story of boxing, in the top ten story, where do you put yourself? I don't have to rate myself. <laughs> Why? You know, everybody wants to. Get well, there. well, well, men, men, men lie. Women lie. Numbers don't lie. So, <laughs> the numbers tell it all. Okay, are you gonna fight with Tyson sometime? Because it's, he's doing uh, our exhibition fights too. Uh, I don't, I don't know what the future holds for Floyd Mayweather. Uh huh. But I truly believe we can do anything. Yeah, because you are fighting with a lot of kind of fighters. Because Logan Paul, it's like, what the fuck? Are you going to fight with this guy? I do, I do hit that one. <laughs> yeah, Logan Paul was, um, we put on an entertain, enter, entertaining show. I think it would have been a lot entertaining if he came to fight, but it is what it is. <laughs> and um, he used his best attribute, and which is he comes from a wrestling background, so he was able to tie me up, which was a good thing for him. Are you planning to uh, having this like 
I don't know, like maybe a world tour around the world with this uh, kind of fights? Well, if I'm not, I don't know what number this is. I think we could be at number eight. I think we done one, we done two in Japan. Uh, one in Abu Dhabi, one in Dubai. We done London. Yeah, it's like I done like eight, so I'm undefeated. Yes. In, in uh, <laughs> exhibitions. Kote yep. is taking very serious this fight. She's doing like, no, this is not a, a exhibition fight. I, I, wa I want to beat this guy. Well, I'm going out there to have fun. If 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 it was a real fight, he get blew out the water because he has to come down actually to my weight class, yeah. which is 147. And it'd be a, it'd be a total mismatch because he would be, I'm pretty sure, a drained fighter. And then him with him being a drained fighter, and me being a fighter that's always fighting at that weight, because I'm accustomed to fighting at that weight, and I really don't have to lose any weight. It'd be a blowout. He has this this thing that he wants revenge because you already once uh, won once with him, right? Well, he should want revenge. It, it is what it is. Well, I want him to come out there Saturday and put on a show for the Mexican people. Which was your worst injury in your career? Um, could be my hands. Yeah. My hands, my hands real, real bad. Um, yeah. You punch too hard? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the impact. You know, such it's such a heavy and hard impact on such small hands. Yeah. So I would say a hand injury. Do you think you have a small hand? Yes, look. Wow. Yes, you have a small hand. You came for a story that you uh, that you go go higher and higher with your expectation as uh, in the personal life and uh, the professional life. How how did you do that? I because did. it wasn't easy, right? It wasn't easy, but you take one day at a time. You take nothing for granted. We take you take one day at a time, and you just got to make sure you got the right pieces while you're building your puzzle. And you know the guy that's up front in the front seat. Uh, it's, it's my best friend, that's James McNair, a.k.a. the Harlem Hot Boy, a.k.a. P. Rilla, a.k.a. We gotta say happy birthday to... Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> so it's his birthday, but he played a major, major role in, in helping out with the exhibitions as well as two of the biggest fights in history, the Pacquiao fight and the McGregor fight. He had a lot to do with it. It's, it me and him sitting down, brainstorming, communicating, coming up with a game plan every day. I think when you start boxing, there's a lot of people of your generation that it doesn't happen anything with them. So what's the difference between all these guys that go to the streets or give up for the career and oh. you? Um, just the will to win. Never quit. Always believe in yourself. And just the right team. Having the right people around you. If, you, if you're about being positive, you want to surround, surround yourself with positive people. And even if the people that, that you truly love is negative, you try your best to get them, get them with a pot, get them to have a positive state of mind. Yeah. And what about the, the journalists, the media? Because well, there's a team, there's yeah. a theme right there, right? Yeah, they're they're entitled to have their own opinion. Everybody got their own opinion uh -huh. about Floyd Mayweather, but I have to be happy with myself first. Yes. So you know you're gonna you know. But you have to deal with them. Every, every single time they are, it doesn't. Well, I, 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 don't, I don't have to worry because they don't live with me. The media don't. <laughs> they don't live in my house. Who is your uh, your idol? My dad. I mean, he's the driving force behind all, all of this. And at one particular time, as you get older, you realize, and you just sit back, you you think. You you think about your career, you think about your family, you think about everything that you have done throughout your life, and you think about the people that's been in your life. And I have to take my hat up to my dad. I mean, he's my idol, and he's the driving force, you know, of my team. As you say at the beginning of the of the chat, uh, you want to sign somebody, the, the Mexican that wants the the, the, the silver medalist. Medal. Yes. So you because are. Because if, if I'm not mistaken, he's the first Mexican to win a medal in the Olympics in like 50 something years. That's truly a blessing in itself. So. Congratulations to the young fighter that won the silver medal. Um, hopefully you come over and we'll have a ticket for you to watch the fight Saturday. That's super cool. And, and, and you are uh, supporting new, new athletes, right? I'm always supporting uh, young athletes on the rise and young entertainers that's on the rise. Is there any fight that you think that you're going to lose? I never know. I don't know what that word is. <laughs> One thing that I love with, with your career is one, the, the McGregor fight. 
because he has, uh, as you tell me, your technique, you has a, a, a specific technique and he has another technique. So that that kind of thing is it's very uh, attractive for the for the show. So how how does that happen? It was good, to, you know, to uh, for me and McGregor to do something that was never done for a guy to come from from he he's the biggest guy in the MMA world and I'm the biggest guy in combat sports period in history and he's one of the biggest guys also so I don't want to take I don't want to uh, discredit him but us two just coming together uh, making an explosion giving the fans a hell of a fight and that was 2017 and uh, we just don't know what the future holds uh, they're talking about me and McGregor again so if it's that then it's that yeah can, can you, do you want to do it uh, it doesn't matter but he want it uh, if he want it he can get it yeah yeah and we love you guys for supporting us tune in Mayweather Gotti this Saturday it's you must watch pay-per-view TV and of course like I like to say is may preview <laughs> tune in may preview yes <laughs> thank you my thank, thank you. you very much thank and you. we want to say goodbye with uh, my my signature Pelucha de los Duche. Whatever he said, but <laughs> this may, this is what I'll do. That's Pelucha de los Duche, my weather style. <laughs> <laughs>